When I first started my domestic hydroponic system at home, and I live in Canada, my choices for finding a nutrient solution turned out to be fairly limited with respect to the general choices I would have had should I live in the USA. I ended up going with this General Hydroponics Maxi Grow and after I went through about two to three packages of it I started to notice that when I adjusted my pH I was getting a lot of precipitation of the solids out of the nutrient solution on the bottom of the tote. The other things I started to notice were what looked like a bit of a deficiency in some of my lettuce and spinach. And of course changing your nutrient solution on a regular basis the price started adding up. In Canada this is the only one that is really available to me. In the US you can get this for $27 for 2.2 or 1 kilo pack. In Canada you will see it's uh, about 31 to 32 dollars for the same one. So I my experience is reflected here under this review where it notes NPK does not seem optimal for spinach hydro. And <coughs> the lettuce consistently seemed, my lettuce showed signs of potassium deficiency. So I looked into what I could get to emulate the master blend kits that they have on Amazon.com or which you can build yourself by buying the constituents from various online sites in the states. Now my desire to come up with something similar to a master brand formula was after I discovered MHP Gardener on YouTube and here you can see what his formula is that he uses for growing greens and this is his hydroponic fertilizer video which is very instructive and highly recommended for you to review the link will be posted below but what he shows here is starting out with a master blend 41838 mix which you can see here on the Morgan County Seeds website a five pound bag runs you twelve dollars and twenty cents. Now with this mix of fertilizer you must add your calcium nitrate and again if you go back to his formula he is showing some options such as mixing it with the uh, miracle Grow tomato and so on. Now the miracle Grow tomato in Canada again the expense becomes a bit of an issue at for example on this listing a 24 ounce bag of it for $33. Um, and indeed the master blend can be more expensive from individual sellers. For example $32 US for another version of the tomato formula. But basically you can get this now, 
all you need to add to this and here is something else that is a problem that you might face with the maxi grow where if you mix your calcium nitrate dry with your other powder and then add the water the calcium nitrate blocks the other ingredients in your P and K and therefore you need to be mixing the calcium nitrate separately and apart a B type of nutrient mix formula where you mix your part A and then you mix your part B and then when they are dissolved then you will add them together in equal parts and that's what he proposes doing here by mixing the master blend first then you would mix in your calcium nitrate and as well you'll see that when you watch this video Epsom salts are the other ingredient that is used here and uh, indeed those are very inexpensive readily available and those you mix into part A with your first NPK formula that you're mixing so where do I get it from I order from Morgan County Seeds out of Missouri if you look at their website it's a little bit hard to navigate so what I do is I call them directly 573-378-2 you watch that and then you can make your mind up as to whether this will work for you so what I've done is I had to go to some of the commercial greenhouse warehouses in Canada and buy large quantities of nutrient and put together what I needed myself buying it large sacks of it off the pallets in the uh, industrial warehouses where semis come in to load up the product that they need therefore having so much of it and just running a domestic operation I decided that I would need to repack a lot of it and then resell it or I would have enough to last for about 500 years and that is what I've done To start making the nutrient solution, I measure 21 grams of the nutrient powder out and that's roughly about 3 teaspoons of powder and uh, th it's best to use a scale and try and get it as accurate as possible into 21 grams. Next I take my nutrient solution which is going to go into part A. I have two containers left. One is A, one is B. And so I'm going to put my 21 grams of nutrient into the part A container. It's usually best if you squeeze your plastic container when you're putting it in. Stir it up for however long it requires to get it all dissolved. Next, put together your calcium nitrate. Measure out 14 grams of calcium nitrate, which is going to be somewhere around two tablespoons full, or two and a bit. Now we're going to put our 14 grams of calcium nitrate into the container that is part B 
and once again stir it. Last we're going to measure out 8 grams of Epsom salts and then add that back into container part A. After it's had a chance to fully dissolve, take your pH reading on A and then move over and take the pH on B. So we're reading just below 5 on both of them. And now we have two options which would be to blend them and then adjust pH or adjust the pH on each one. And I think because they're both close, I'm going to go ahead and mix them and then adjust. It's a more accurate reading for your final product. Now this is my container C in which I'm going to mix equal parts of A and B nutrient. Next I'm going to label my container and I've just made nu mature nutrient. Now our pH is telling us we're a little bit below our optimum level so we're going to add a little bit of pH up which I make myself and bring it up to try and get it right around the optimal range in the middle which would be 6. I make my own pH up solution in a 10% concentration of potassium hydroxide which is a lot more economical than buying the retail product. When you're balancing your pH it's best just to start out with a few drops and keep measuring. So when you have a pH reading of right around 6 what do you say? Sharon? Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. And if the pH has to be lowered, I use carbonated water, which I do using a carbonating system in my kitchen with a tank that lasts me a couple of years with CO2 in it and carbonation caps and the Perrier bottles which I just recycle. Here we have the destination where that has gone and there it is right there you can see in the tote. So this is the nursery tote and again you can see there it just has rapid start in it and there's some of the other ones that I've tried I'm trying alternative germination techniques with and up here we have some Caribbean spinach known as Callaloo it's a variation on the amaranth plant and up in the top I've got some Asian vegetables going, some of you may be familiar with Cancun. I don't think I've got the pronunciation right. It grows a lot, it even will grow in ditches in Southeast Asia. And it's very good in a stir fry if you know how to prepare it properly.
This is Ron Tessalini. Um, Mr. Tessalini, would you like to explain what you're doing right now? God only knows. <laughs> Trying to have a shower. We're taking water from Bryant Creek. We've never done this before. Larry Gilmore. Over 60 years of combined experience between these two gentlemen, and they've never done it before.